controversy of complex regarding the cactus plant flea market nike airs flea twos which i really like to be fair because they kind of remind me of that balenciaga tire shoe that everybody wears i forgot the name of them but if you see them you know what i mean this is courtesy of complex so you see the pair of shoes there they're very marmite right very very mar marmite but for me and knowing my kind of taste and liking the kind of off-road acg um type of shoe this is definitely something that's in my kind of purview and i was thinking about when i was looking at these shoes right they kind of remind me a little bit of like a male version of a man repeller because i think that was our blogger back in the day who used to wear some horrendous outfits and her basically title the blog was called man repeller and the idea behind it was never to dress for the kind of male gaze i feel like these shoes are the shoes that you'd put on if you actually don't want bitches right if you don't want chicks to come up to you if you don't want attention <laughs> if you don't want girls to think you're cute these are the shoes you wear if you just want to be left alone to hang out with the boys you wear these shoes because these look absolutely ugly and awful but also really cool in a weird type of way so big up cactus plant flea market for always doing really interesting things so this is courtesy of complex a blurb says the next sneakers from cactus plant flea market and nike have an innocuous so an inconspicuous debut um last weekend at Rolling Loud Miami Festival with Turnstile bassist Franz Lyons wearing them on stage. Um Turnstile set on Sunday was notable for being the first time a rock band has ever played on Rolling Loud Miami. Release info for the Cactus Plant Flea Market initially featured um surface earlier this summer from Soul Retriever. The pair from Rolling Loud appears to be a black and alabaster colorway, um, which are gonna be around two hundred and twenty twenty dollars and again look at this look at cactus plant flea markets some um, history they had these fucking massive um you know fur shoes that they put out these dunks before and now they've got these shoes they've got a really good history of always having a really clever and interesting twist on sneakers and i'm really liking what they're doing at least they don't try and just do the really standard shit and take an air force one and do their own colorway they do something a bit different so i'm a big fan of them it continues here reach for comment on the upcoming project um, Nike spokesman said we look forward to sharing more details soon. Cactus Plant Flea Market is a brainchild of elusive designer Cynthia Liu, who launched the uh, Earthy Street Red label in 2015. Her brand has released a handful of collaborations with Nike over the past years, starting with the um, Cactus Plant Baker Max and the uh, most recent Flea Ones, which arrived in two separate versions at the end of last year. Um, any more details there? No, no more details. So you see what you see there, two pictures of the shoes let me pause this and like honestly these videos are auto play on your websites just want to give me hell but I, I really like these i think they look really weird they look really gargantuan they look really ugly they look horrendous in every way shape or possible but for me they're definitely something that i'd wear again and again and again the interesting thing about these if you check them closely it looks like the swoosh is um removable it looks like because they've always got these little you know additions that you can kind of take on and take off it looks like you could take off the swoosh and put it on either side it looks like with these little buttons i think you could either have the swoosh kind of you know of top of the straps here on the right i kind of like it but i'm curious to know what the base model is i'm curious to know if the base model is like a mars yard um is it a gps like what is it what is the base model of this shoe because i'm sure there's something as a base model underneath it but i really do like the look of it you've got this exaggerated tire outsole going on there you've got these big massive really heavy duty straps on the top here um you've got some buttons here look at like you can press little badges on them and the swoosh you've got the flea two on the flipping tongue here i really like them again they're really ugly they look awful um they're definitely not panty droppers for sure they're panty put on us right you you put these on on a date and she's probably going to run and leave the restaurant she probably will see you through the window and just probably scream so if you <laughs> if you're trying to get some shoes that girls think they look cute probably don't purchase these but i really like them i'm not going to lie i like the look of them i would probably end up trying to get a pair if i could but you know how cactus plant flea actually you know what you never know with these shoes being so ugly maybe everybody might not buy them but i've got a feeling they probably will because of the resale but these are really cool i really like them so big up c p for always having some cool shit that they do with nike i'm absolutely loving those